Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how I'm setting up into the controller if I want to use a line with a height. So, for example, if we have two points and a line, then I will set up level on this point 1 and level on this point 2 and then we set up the heights set up height on number 2 and then once we input that into the controller then controller can tell us along along the line anywhere what's the height in each point between these two points so that's why I'm not using a DTM because for DTM you need to have uh, the model and then on, on the model you have to have each individual point with height and then you'll be able to create a DTM model and then obviously upload it to the controller. So in this particular case I have I'll show you here that's the foundation beams of several houses so as you can see here I'm zooming so this blue line represents a drainage so here will be a mano and on here will be another mano so that line will be 100 mil of drainage going through or near the concrete so in here that's the drawing you can see the mano at invert level 5.19 and 5.72 with the backdrop so then on the other side we have 5.83 so I've written here top of concrete for the foundation beams will be 5925 so you can clearly see this drainage run will be into the concrete beams so we have to install it before we place the concrete so that's the model here I have and then I'll show you how do we set up the line with the two points so I've taken the points from the computer of the first mano so we zoom enough then we pick that point middle of the mano then we go to points sorry points that's our point so okay I'll click edit then I'll click name point one click OK then we go down and change the height so you can see here point one we have 5.72 for the backdrop which will be coming out then here we click 5.72 OK yes it's the same so click OK then we click store okay mano one is done okay now we go again back to the 3d viewer and then we want to go to mano two which will be on the other side okay over here okay, we zoom click on the center any point so we've chosen the center of the point we go to points then you can see here height is zero so that's why we want to change it edit we're gonna enter here point number two okay we go down and then here that's our second mano has an invert level of 5.83 so we click here 5.83 click OK and then you can click either store here or F1 to store click store ok that's good now so if I go out uh, then we can go we go here 
measure the line then over here is important to choose quick line click OK and then on a quick line we can go either type 0.1 and it comes up the one that we saved already click OK then second point or start and end point we can click number two click number two okay comes up the one with the height that we've put click OK and we've chosen start point one and point two same ones that we've saved before then here you can check if you input correctly the numbers we have height difference of 110 so from 5.72 to 5.83 is exactly 110 so that's a double check to see if you've input the height correctly so we click we can even click on the 3d viewer to see which point if the points that we've selected are correct on the map point one and point two okay and then you can see how point one is highlighted and point two and you can see how the line is going this way okay that means we've selected the correct points we click OK and then you can see the line is highlighted as well on the main screen and then we can use the instrument mark the line and then after we have the line marked on site then we can choose some heights then I'm gonna show you this when I'm on site in part number two in the next video see you in a bit